Hey everyone, welcome back to Stardew Valley, Artisan Valley. This is a mod of playthrough series where we can only sell artisan goods, hence why it's called Artisan Valley. We're up to the 13th of summer year 2. It's Alex and Kira's birthday today. And it's raining and our cat loves us. Oh yeah, oh my inventory's full. Guess we never get that fish. <coughs> so a lightning storm today actually. Pierre taught me how to cook broccoli and cheese. Harvey billed me for passing out last night. Oh yeah, because we went to the little rock mines thing. And we stayed there all night long. But I think what we said at the last of, last episode is we were going to not sell any of our artisan products until the end of the series and then sell it all at once and um, see how much money we make. So that's something we're going to try doing. Ooh, there's a nuke person. I think we need to make one of these five iron bars. So what I was thinking is we have to go there anyway. We should go to Ridgeside and we should hire one of those people that do tasks to go to the mines and hopefully they'll get us iron ore. What? I don't want either any of these. I want mining. I thought you would do mining. <sighs> That's sad. I thought they'd do mining. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Got any exciting plans to land? Do you take weekends off? Well, I had plans, but all of them fell through. And then I stood here waiting for you for most of my day. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Thanks for the birthday gift line. Hmm, I smell a barbecue. Damn, I could go for a burger. Alright, what have we got for me this time? Five four again. For some reason, the door is painted on the wall. Who would do such a thing? These will never get easier, but they will kill. Maybe I should eat a crab's cakes. They help with defense. Oh no! I was just gonna eat! Ah. Damn it! Lion, take easy now, take it slow. Someone found you unconscious and bedded. I had to perform an emergency surgery on you. Be a little more careful next time, okay? I just. I just don't know how to. how to take on those guys. They, I just don't know how to get. get to. Uh, like. How, how do I make my weapon better? Because I thought Galaxy Sword was the best in the game. So there must be more swords out there or something. There must be better ones. I guess we can go to the normal mines and just get normal stuff. That's probably the best way to get proper iron. Do we have a burglar's ring? We do. I will take that. We need to make a mag um, a, a glow glow magnet ring. Oh, I was gonna get the mod that lets you wear multiple rings, but I forgot. All right, that was actually pretty successful. Marlon probably thinks I'm a weirdo. Um, we got twenty nine coal, thirty eight. Iron ore. Got a Morris to speak to. Um, yeah, it was actually pretty good. We got a ghost fish, which is nice because we have to we have to smoke one of those. Got a coffee bean even. All right, it's another birthday. I feel like every day there's going to be a birthday, almost. Laura's birthday. Splooshed cat. Another chub. 
Thanks, buddy. Whoa, what's that? Harvest and ship a hundred wheat. Well, we just harvested the wheat. I guess picking it up counts. Oh my goodness. What were those things? Bini sesame. Nutty and rich. It was one of the first cultivated grains. Oh, I just realized we have to ship a hundred wheat. That's technically cheating. But I guess for the quest we have to. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh dear, this is very the very definition of stagnant. Just a little more till 4 p.m. then I can finally go. But what to do until then? Hmm. Play the piano. Oh, why hello there, Lion. Welcome to the Log Cabin Hotel and all that. Lion, what brings you here? Come over, talk to me for a while. It gets boring here sometimes. Ah, I'm glad I get to talk with someone. Would you be so kind as to keep me company for a while? So, hey, how's the farm? I heard from Grandfather that you inherited a huge plot of land. How are you finding farming life so far? Glad to hear that. It would be fun to visit your farm. Could Grandfather and I come by sometime? It would be a lovely way to send a day off. My, you're quite agreeable, aren't you? Is it possible to be too kind? It is possible to be too kind, you know. Hmm. Hey, Lion. Allow me to give you a piece of unsolic unsolicited advice based on personal experience. You should learn how to say no from time to time, okay? Know your boundaries and limits and practice standing up for yourself so you can do it when it really counts, okay? Where did that come from? Ah, life, I suppose. Anyways, enough about that. It's almost time for me to clock out. Thank you so much for sparing some time to talk to me. I really appreciate it. It does get boring here after a while. You're welcome any time if you fancy a chat. You're a respectable conversationalist. Fine. No birthday present for you. Oh! The schedule lied to me. It said she was in a room all day. I bet the gift. That's very kind. No you. I love it. Hello. Hi, sorry to jump scare you outside your room. Let's do the delivery one. Although he's not in his house. Did you? Hey, Lion, do you have room for five dishes? I can give them to you now if you do. Yeah, I got room. Great. Thanks for doing this, by the way. All right, let me give you the good stuff. Here's the zesty tuna for Richard, the arugula roll for Ezekiel, the fried fish for Lorenzo, fried mountain greens for Maeve, and lastly, Olga's ridge fruity plate. All right, that's everything in your hands now, so I'm counting on you. And who's this guy? Jerk. Go take a day off every now and then. Red cabbage seeds. They're pretty cheap, actually. I like $70. I feel like they usually like two something. Two hundred. Lorenzo, I think, is this guy. Yeah. And he wants fried fish. I think this guy's Richard. Yeah, Richard. Sisty tuna. Olga, Maeve, Ezekiel, Ezekiel is here. Is this that, this guy? It is. How do you know Andy? Hmm, what? Oh, him? He's just a farmer, I know. Okay, and he wanted a rugula roll. Olga, yes, I have something for you. I have fruity plate. All right, and then Maeve, the fancy house, the rich chick, the rich rude chick, the, ch the rude rich chick, the rude rich chick, rich rude trick, where blue 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 blah. Woohoo! Do I have to go talk to the guy again? Or is that just it? 
Ooh. Is that kiwi? Acorn. Acorn, we're getting soaked. You are certain you felt her presence here? Chip chip, little acorn ashore. Oh, he's so cute. Acorn felt princess magic for a tiny bit. Who is this person? Peepo. I currently don't feel anything though. Was there a specific time and day, my friend? Hmm. Human! Oh, hello. What are you doing out in the here in the rain? I mean, who am I to state that being one out here drenched as well? Peepo, human can see me. Little acorn saw human. Look at him. I noticed it too. Hmm. I don't feel anything off from this person, my friend. Maybe we can even ask for some help. Chip Chip Little Acorn found more friends. Friends. Hi there, my name's Peepo. And this here is my friend Acorn. Hello, little acorn is brown and friendly. <laughs> chip chip. So cute. <laughs> ah, Lion, was it? Well, it's nice to meet you. If you don't mind, can we ask for some help? Well, we're looking for someone, and Acorn thought he sensed her in this forest a while ago. I assume you're from around the valley. Have you seen a small girl in this trail? She has dark brown hair, pointy ears, and probably a little shorter than me. Oh, it's all fine, Lion. We haven't had much luck as well. Huh? Who is she? Hmm. I don't think it's best that I disclose her identity. Just remember, a young girl with dark hair and pointy ears. Acorn, what's wrong? Little Acorn, remember, I sense her magic at night. Little Acorn, remember, about an hour before midnight. Oh, that's interesting. Unfortunately, we can't visit here at night. Mother won't let us. It's too dangerous. Me and my blubber mouth. I'm sorry, I guess I spoke too much, Lion. Peepo, Little Acorn thinks we should report this to your mama. Yes, we should. Lion, I'm sorry for cutting our conversation short. We should go now. See you around. Bye bye, human. So you want me to come back at midnight? I understand. I get what you're putting down. What? What's this? Stargazing guide for cookie. The stars are most visible after 11 on a clear night. Don't stray too far from the house, okay? A. Eh? There's a faded text engraved in the tomb. The words that barely read, he, la, r, is here lies something. I think I wanted to date this guy. But I don't know him enough yet to know if I want to date him, so I'll have to wait and see. Alright, is something going to happen or do I have to like leave and come back? When they say house, do they mean that house? Is it too soon? Did I only just find out about it so nothing happens yet? Ah. <sighs> I don't know. Nice sunny day. No birthdays. It's a decent luck day. Pika sent me a bunch of mail. Thanks so much for the help with the delivery. I'm glad to say all the customers are set up. But I'm working on setting up over the phone delivery actually. I should let you know once I get it set up. I'd like to give my wife a star fruit for her anniversary. Can you bring me one? Time to harvest the blueberries. Do you think it'll level up my uh, mastery? What are we at? Oh, we're close. I think it will. Does it give you a pop up when you level up your mastery, or do you just have to go and check? 
Oh no, one of my plants got struck by lightning. I've reached a new level of understanding. I guess that's the mastery thing. Does it go up by the next time? Do I need more? I do. How much do they give you? Not that much. I thought it gave you more. Oh, now I have to go pick one. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Gosh, over a thousand blueberries. I think I've got enough. Yeah, we're just going to go in here, so they're probably not going to get touched for a while. It's usually always ant land where your animals are. Is that just, like, fluke? Oh, it's also Monday. New quest time. The summer sun grazes... As the summer sun greases Pelican Town, I'm crafting something special for the upcoming luau. Already happened. I need your help collecting five coastal items. Can I count on you with gratitude, Anita? Hey there, I'm looking for a big water book. I'm going to do the Anita one because I don't see Anita very often. If, if I don't know if I've seen her once this whole time. So I'm going to do her quest because then maybe it'll let me see her. Oh, hi. Hi, Alex. Um, it's Lion, right? Bro, you opened up to me and you don't know my name. I'm just enjoying this great weather, Lion. Hmm. Hey, go long! Ooh, butterfingers. Hee <laughs> hee, nice try. I'm going to be the first professional gridiron player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I've already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. You just wait. I believe in you. Thanks, Lion. I'll remember that. What a chick quill chick. Paper chick. Water and paper don't go very well. Ah, hello there, Lion. I hope this lovely summer morning is treating you well. What should I say? I'm doing great today. How about yourself? It's a nice morning. I came to the beach to fish. I've had some better days. What are you up to? I'm doing great today. How about yourself? That's marvellous to hear. I'm preparing my boat to go out to sea. The weather is marvellous today, and it would be such a shame to let it go to waste. I enjoy riding out in the ocean from time to time. The gentle rocking of the boat, the silence, but for the sound of the gills and the waves, it eases the mind and opens me up to new ideas. The gem sea is especially aspiring this time of year. Perhaps one day I'll take you with me so you can fin you can fish while I write my novels. You could be my muse. What should I say? Joining you on a boat sounds fun. I appreciate the offer, but I'll have to decline. Sounds fun. Fantastic. It'll surely be a splendid time. Ah, I forgot to pick up some supplies at Pierre's. I need to run some errands, line. Have a glorious day. That must be an expanded thing, because I've never seen that before. How incredible! When did I last go to the beach? <laughs> Ahoy there, line. I just landed a real whopper. Here, let me show you. Whoa! That's the crimson fish. This beauty is called a crimson fish. They're a rare species that's disappearing from these parts, sadly. There's a notion going around that they're dying off on account of recent pop pollution from Georgia. Since their factories started cropping up across the Virgil Republic, crimson fish population have dropped off. I got one in my fish tank. I'm keeping them safe. I was just about to release her. I don't want to put these rare treasures in any more danger than they already are, even though I could make some good coin selling her. <laughs> sure, I'm happy I'm able to show her to someone. People don't always believe my fishing stories. At times like these, I feel like I should invest in purchasing a camera. So... How's the fishing life been treating you? I fish every now and again. Good to hear you're still enjoying fishing line. 
I'm ha I'm happy I gave you my old rod to get you started. If you squint, you can see just as you can just about see Fern Islands across the ocean on a nice day like this. My family is from those islands. We should take a boat out there sometime. Away from the cities, the water is crystal clear, and there's are some amazing rare fish that are native to the islands. The ring fruit grow on the islands also delicious. I've been craving a good ring fruit lately. So there's new stuff on the islands. I'm gonna keep an angling keep on angling and toss this crimson fish back so she can go on her way. Have a pleasant day, Lime. Now may I go to the beach finally. <laughs> Where do people not walk? Surely they don't walk here. They don't reach. Does anybody walk across the bridge? Does this connect? Maybe I can't put them at the beach. I've seen people do it before, but for some reason I can't. <laughs> hey, you seem a bit out of it. Is everything okay, boo? Who's Scarlet? Sorry, I'm just trailing off in thought. You said the doctor prescribed you new medicine. Is it helping with? Yeah, it helps. Hey, you'll get through this. I'll visit you a hundred times if that's what it takes. You always know how to cheer me up. Oh, my hand's cold. Who's that gal? Oh, um, that's Lion, the new farmer I told you about. Nice to meet you, Lion. I'm Scarlet, a friend of the Storks. Getting into the farming business is tough work. I live in Grampleton with my pa. Papa. He's over at Marnie's with the truck loading up on a bunch of milk and wool. We met during a cosplay meetup. Grampleton is kind of far away. I really appreciate it when she visits. Shoot, I should run back. He's probably just about done done just about now. By now. Well, okay, text me later. For sure, I'll send you something funny. It was nice to meet you, Lion. Bye, Boo. Bye, you. Hey. Did you hear anything we were talking about? No, I heard nothing. Something about medicine. If you did, please keep it to yourself. I'm just trying to be nice. Please work for me here. Please. Wah! I need to get a, maybe I need to build a path or something. Go chop down a tree. Build one path. I'm mad. I'm so annoyed. Don't know how to do this. And I put bug meat in it. Freaked. Willie, help me. How do I set it up? Why won't it work? Oh, yes, hello. I haven't seen you in ever. Are these what you want? Can I give you two of the same? I can. Haha! -ha! We did it! You exist! Hello, I'm back. I'm trying this again. I'm not going to try this time. 
See, I can handle ghosts. Holy gosh, damn crab sticks. Why do more of them spawn every time I come here? Oh, uh oh. These are the ones you don't let you eat. They hit you. Ah! Bobby, <laughs> please. I need the muscles. Oh, we got another one for completing a nature's quest. I guess you're wondering why I'm in a graveyard at this hour. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. Hey, what do you think? I'm too, too weak to swing a blade? I'm dying. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a bit low defense beauty. I want to explore the mountain caves, but I'm too, but I know it's too dangerous to go in unarmed. You should use a sword before, haven't you? Yes, and it's exciting. Yes, but only in self-defense. Yes, and it's dangerous. You should say safe note. Yes, and it's exciting. See, you understand why I'm out here then. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Abigail? Uh-oh. Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to home, come home and help with dinner. So it's not that late then. To be fun with dinner. What are you doing in the, the graveyard anyway? This is no place for a young lady. Mind your own business. You should think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? You're really stuck in the past, Dad. Let's get out of here, Lion. Well, are you coming or not? I look like I'm tripping on drugs, like I took some mushrooms or something. Okay, my dad won't find us here. So, I, can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know, they grew up in a different era, with different values. It still tr ticks me off sometimes, okay? We're hiding in a bush. Well, thanks for hearing me out, Lion. Um, now, could you help untangle my hair from this bush? Leah, I'm hurting. Your farm seems to get large by the day. How do you keep up with it? I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's a problem. I need help. Alrighty. Lenny's birthday today. It's the last day of the episode. Clear and sunny all day. Hello, Lion. I extend my heartfelt thanks for your assistance with my special request. Your dedication to collecting those coastal items truly added a touch of magic to my upcoming dish. I plan to contribute to the luau. Your contribution is deeply appreciated. Look forward to future to more collaborations in the future. With warm regards, Anita. So it doesn't open mystery boxes. The um, geo crushes. I guess that's fair because they're called geo crushes. Wow, rose extract used for making rose lemonade soda. Huh. I might just sell one of those then, because then we can make rose lemonade soda. Oh, we never picked a mastery thing. We should go pick one. We can spare five for a pump. Now, I assume you go down here with these things. Fresh water in 11 hours and 30 minutes. If we put the big chest next to the water pump, 
Okay, when the water's ready, it should go in the big chest. We're gonna go to town, give Probus a gift, and do the uh, tickets, prize tickets. Oh, um, hi, Line. Hey, how you doing? Um, um, I've been better. Why are you asking? Dusty or food? Dusty. Want to pet Dusty with me? Dusty, um, I'd like that. Sure, let's go. Oh my gosh, aren't you just so, so, so adorable? We've given Dusty many pets. Sophia laughed a lot. She feels better. That's good. We do need to check on Vincent from that time with the seashells. Oh yeah, a smoker. Nice. And some treasure troves. Ah, book. We need two more tiakets. First Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. Um, maybe now's not the best time to try and talk to him about how sad he was at the beach. He might, he might have forgotten about it by now. I might have done it too late. But we need to get some tappers. the last time I actually came back here. I think we might be good for wood for a while. How much mastery did they get us? Almost none. Mastery is going to take a while to get all of them it seems. I have this crazy idea for a new shirt in mind but I need to use some other pieces for reference. I'm selling it in my shop as soon as it's done. Can anyone bring me these? Just in case, I've been thinking it would be wise to have a reserved energy source for the hotel's power supply. For the villager ever experience, can anyone bring me the materials I need? I can do that. Surely it's just battery packs. 50 copper bars! The thing is, I probably have the 30 battery packs because I can't do anything with battery packs. But 50 copper bars, man. That, that I probably don't have. Happy birthday! Okay, let's do a final check of everything to make sure we've got everything to sell. Another rose extract, we can sell that one. We can probably sell a, a few of the um, toasted marshmallow bocchinos we probably don't need oh i don't know if we're ever going to use them um the other thing i want to do is we brought that mint recipe so let's try it um because if we can sell it like it's considered an artisan good then we'll make a bunch and if it's not then i think it, i think it'll be considered cooking which is going to be annoying i'd rather it wasn't but Mint tea. Yeah, it's considered cooking. It could be something that we just... If we put mint tea in a glass jar it makes mint kombucha, maybe that? That will come out as an artisan good, surely. Is our kombucha machine doing anything right now? Well, the machines are busy right now, but maybe next episode, if we remember, we'll check that. And if that works, then that's something we can do with all the mint that gets through it a bit quicker. Or at least half the mint. We should go to bed before midnight. Um, 2 a.m. That's pretty decent. So four days gets us 46,000. 76,000. 
So that should be day four. We started on 14, 15, 16, 17, four days. No, we started on 13, 14, 15, 16. 13, 14, 15, 16. That's, that's just it. That's the end. That's all I know. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it may be for you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.